thanks, but we choose to do so. We choose to do so so that these gifts might be transformative agents in your world, and that they might bring people to the joy of fellowship with you, and that they might bring food to those who are hungry, that they might bring sight to those who are blind, that they might bring justice to those who are oppressed, that they might bring freedom to those who are in bondage, that these gifts might be liberating, and they might be filled with joy. That's why we give. Amen. Please be seated. <coughs> Scripture <laughs> is one that I have never preached on. I have to say this. I am looking forward to this morning's meditation. I have had the most fun <coughs> putting together this meditation. However, interrupted I was all through this week, and that's that's fine. But I, I did. I had a great time. The reason I had a great time is I've never preached, to my knowledge, never preached a, a sermon on this passage. And so I did a little bit of research on it, and then I discovered something, or rediscovered, I should say, something um, that I think you'll enjoy very much and find instructive. I would hope so. This is in uh, Luke's Gospel, beginning with uh, verse 41 in chapter 2. Every year his parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up to the feast according to the custom. After the feast was over, while his parents were returning home, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were unaware of it, thinking he was in the company. In their company, they traveled for a day. Then they began looking for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple courts, sitting among the teachers, listening to them, and asking questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when his parents saw him, they were astonished. His mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me? He asked, Didn't you know 
I had to be in my father's house, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. And then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But his mother treasured all these things in her heart. And Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and men. This is the word of God for the people of God. Praise you to God. 